My name is Dr. Anthony Lamar, I'm a cardiothoracic surgeon. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to talk about the operative room setup. I'm not going to review a specific procedure or pathology. I'm just going to talk about the operative room setup that most heart surgeons like myself have when we operate. And um, most of the people who are actually watching this video probably don't realize the importance of the operative room setup for operations. So I figured I'd talk about that. So the first critical aspect of the operative room setup is the personnel. Now, oftentimes after I complete an operation and I go talk to the family of the patient, the families are most of the time very grateful, appreciative, and they're constantly thanking me as though I did the operation myself. What I try to remember is to tell them that the te it's the actual team that's actually involved of the operation for the operation. So, for example, the nurses. There are, there are nurses in the operating room that are critical to the operation. There is a circulating nurse, a nurse who's not sterile, who's running, often running around the operating room providing equipment to myself and the other staff in the operating room. There's also a scrub nurse. This is a person who's sterile in a gown and glove, and it also and it's that person's responsibility to provide the uh, instruments and also to take away the um, equipment that we're not using. And that person's critical as well. So the nursing is critical to an operation. The circulating nurse and a scrub nurse. Another critical aspect of the, of the operating team is the anesthesiologist. The anesthesiologist is providing the anesthesia, putting the patient asleep, making sure the airway is appropriate, the vital signs are stable. So an anesthesiologist and their team is critical to the operation. Now the team for anesthesia could vary from one person to sometimes three or four, depending on the complexity of the case. They can be, there's often and always an anesthesiology attending, someone who's completed their training, who takes responsibility for the, for the anesthesia, anesthesia being given. There's often a resident or a fellow who is learning, and sometimes even medical students as well. So the anesthesiology team is critical to the personnel and the operation. Another person that's critical uh, for the operation is the perfusionist. Most of the time we'll do these procedures using the heart-lung machine, and the perfusionist is the person who's running that machine. Another part of the team that's critical is the surgeon himself. Him or, him or her who, who is the attending surgeon, the one who's taking the responsibility for performing the operation absolutely critical. Also, there's an assistant. We cannot do these operations by ourselves. We always have an assistant. Now, the assistant could be another heart surgeon. It could be a medical student, a resident, a fellow, someone who's training. There's also certified nursing assistants. There's nurse practitioners, physician assistants. All the, there's a different variety of people who could be helping us or assisting us in these operations. But all of them are critical. So again, critical part of the operating room setup is the personnel. Secondly, the equipment. The equipment for the operation is critical. Having the right equipment that work is absolutely essential to our operations. And again, that can vary from a small operation like a pericardial window where you're just draining fluid from, someone's, or from around someone's heart to a complex operation like a heart transplant or a dissection repair or an aneurysm repair bypass. So the, the equipment you use is going to vary and that's going to be important that you communicate with the, the nurse the nurse circulated and scrub nurse that you have all the equipment that you need before you start the operation. Okay, throughout this video, by the way, you're going to see different images of the equipment that we use in the operating room from the sutures, the sternal wires that we use to close the sternum, the sterile gown and gloves, all that's going to be uh, uh, important to the setup of the operation. Another critical aspect of the operation is the heart-lung machine itself. Most of the time when we're doing open heart surgery, we're putting a patient on the heart-lung machine run by the perfusionist. So that heart-lung machine is going to be critical to the setup, and that's going to be managed primarily by the perfusionist. Another critical aspect of the surgical team, or, or, or surgical setup, excuse me, is the operating room itself. Now, operating rooms can vary. They can be small, they can be large, they can be new, they can be more updated. Um, Whatever the setup is, that's going to be critical. Whatever the room is, excuse me, that's going to be critical to the operation. Now, most surgeons would say, including myself, we'll operate anywhere. We can operate in a small room. We can operate in an old room. But actually, we'd prefer to operate in a big room with a lot of equipment, with good lighting, things of that nature. But sometimes, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we, we don't get that, and we have to perform the operations uh, with rooms that are smaller than we'd like, for example. Throughout the, this talk, again, I'm going to show you the lighting that's, that's, that's important in the operating room, the monitors that are important. When I'm doing an operation and, and my partners and colleagues as well, we want to be able to see the vital signs during the operation. Although that's being monitored by the anesthesiologist, that's also important to me so that I know that the blood pressure is good and also the heart rate is good as well. And so the operating room itself is going to be critical to the operation as well. 
Okay, once again, I just wanted to review the operating room setup, and once again, the critical aspects of the operating room setup are personnel, equipment, the actual um, heart lung machine for most of our open heart cases, and also the operating room itself, um, whether it's a, a more modern operating room or an old one, um, that's going to be critical to the operation, operating room uh, setup as well. Okay, this is just a brief description of the operating room setup. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thank you very much.